Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe made a historic visit to Pearl Harbor along with US President Barack Obama on Tuesday. この地で命を落とした人々の御霊に、ここから始まった戦いが奪ったすべての勇者たちの命に戦争の犠牲となった数知れぬ婿の民の魂に英語の哀悼の誠を捧げます。the Pearl Harbor ceremony is the latest diplomatic outreach by Abe to former war foes over the last few years. Late last year, Japan agreed to a settlement on a dispute with South Korea over Korean women used as forced prostitutes by the Imperial Japanese Army. Abe has sought to settle other war-related disputes, including a territorial issue with Russia. Experts say Abe's strategy is driven by rising economic and security challenges, including emerging military threats from China and North Korea. The single most important relationship for Japan is with the US, its military ally and major trading partner. But after Donald Trump's election as the next US president, many in Japan have been anxious about the strength of those ties. During his campaign, Trump characterized Japan as a trade adversary that unfairly benefits from US military protection. The countries we are defending must pay for the cost of this defense. One poll earlier this month showed that around 40% of Japanese expect US-Japan ties to worsen the highest level since the annual survey began in 2004. While experts cautioned that Trump's policy choices could yet generate friction with Japan, several said war reconciliation would help future cooperation. Japanese officials say Abe is looking to press home a message of cooperation by seeking talks with Trump soon after his January 20th inauguration.